Sylvester Stallone's Rambo movies might not be as beloved as his Rocky films, but they've had just as fascinating a trajectory. What's more, they've been incredibly influential in the history of action movies, charting the general evolution of the genre across four decades. If you want to get an insight into the state of action filmmaking at a certain time, Rambo films are a good gauge. First Blood, the inaugural Rambo film, was noteworthy for blending what are now well-known action tropes with an attempt at exploring the very real issue of PTSD in the context of the Vietnam War. Stallone's John J. Rambo was introduced as a former United States Army Special Forces officer who, despite his preternatural combat skills, was haunted by his experiences overseas. Following that, the character of Rambo underwent somewhat of a transformation throughout the 80s, becoming the epitome of the muscle-bound, invincible heroes that we often associate with the decade. Though Stallone's action hero disappeared during the 90s, he re-emerged in the 2000s to deliver a much more gritty and reflective installment in the series with Rambo, a film that successfully balanced Stallone's measured and thoughtful performance with the type of gratuitous violence we'd all been expecting from John Jay's return. The man himself would be back a decade later, but this installment was about as memorable as the generic streaming films amidst which Rambo re-emerged. But we're not here for a deep dive into Rambo's evolution, or for a guide on the best order to watch the Rambo movies. We just want to know which ones are good and which ones are rubbish. Luckily, I've figured that out for you, so read on for a ranking of the Rambo movies from worst to best.